Hi guys, welcome to my new YouTube video and in this video I'll be telling you about my experience at HCL. So I'll be explaining you each and every interview rounds I went through in HCL. So uh, I got a referral in HCL and uh, probably I went through the interview. That's insane but yeah. So I'll, I have actually explained each and every interview round and how it went. So without any ado, let's just jump into the video so that you can uh, see the whole process. And before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do share this video with other design buddies so that they can be prepared for interview process at companies like HCL, Google or etc. So let's just jump. Uh, so guys, in this, I'll be telling you about my interview experience in HCL. So there was two rounds which I uh, gave in this company. So before moving forward, I want to mention that I got a referral in this company and um, uh, even I got a option to not to give an interview, but I choose to give an interview. So there was two rounds. One was a technical round and second was the walkthrough. Like you will be asking your uh, favorite website and you have to explain the whole procedure that is asked by the senior uh, UX designer at that company. So talking about the first round, in that round, I was like, firstly, that was taken by two people uh, who are like a junior designer probably. And they asked me questions about uh, related to about fonts, like difference between sans serif font and serif fonts. And apart from that, there were there were questions about brand system, design system. And before like uh, going on to these questions, they have actually asked me to showcase my portfolio and walk through uh, of like some of my projects. Next, I have built two to three freelance projects. So I have given a walkthrough of that. And apart from that, then they move forward with the questions. Like they have asked me what is the different difference between sans serif and serif fonts. Apart from that, they have asked me what is design system? What is brand system? And also uh, there were questions related to brand identity. And also these are some of the questions which, which were covered in the technical round. So you have to be prepared whenever you, um, you are going for an interview in HCL. And after clearing the first round, I moved to the second round that is uh, about the core UX. And in that, there were two persons that are like senior designers at HCL and they have asked me like, what is the, what is your favorite uh, website? Like from which you actually love the user experience. So probably I, that time I actually told them this housing.com and uh, they asked me to uh, like, if being a beginner designer, like not a beginner designer, if being a beginner and if I want to book one BHK house. So obviously you are a beginner and you don't know what is the user flow and what is the whole journey on this app, uh, website. So how I can make things easier for them. So probably that time I was also new. So I actually asked them there was a search button. So search button is the most important one or search bar is the most important one. Uh, like which is to be included on a product, like say application or a website. And uh, through a search bar, a person can even choose locations. Like if you want a uh, apartment in Delhi or Mumbai or Bangalore and uh, either he or she can mention the locality, landmark or project. So this is how things work. And Moving on that, they have like asked me, like say supposingly I want one BHK home or probably if I want a one BHK home. So, uh, so there were options like on this website where either you want one BHK, either you want two BHK. So you can see there are options like featured projects and even they have categorized things according to 1BHK and 2BHK thing uh, related to location. So now they have updated their website probably, but that time when I gave the interview, that time it was not like this one, but yeah. So probably in Delhi, supposingly I want in uh, Rohini or Rajori. 
so i'll just search about rajori and you can see there are options like the filter buttons and you can actually filter according to property type you want an independent house you want an apartment you want duplex you want villa what uh, like whatever is your need but from that here is the bhk type like 1 bhk you want 2 bhk you want 3 bhk you want so you can definitely choose the filter option and you can filter as according to your needs like say you want in a range of 1 crore or 2 crore say i want in 1 crore so you can see there are uh, apartments that are under my need and you can probably reach out to them but uh, other than this the next portion by the uh, designer who is taking my interview was uh, like similar website is this one 99 acres and uh, housing.com is similar so how and why should people choose housing.com and not 99acres.com or how they both are different in their user experience or which is better in the uh, ux part so these uh, these are the kind of questions i'll be uh, like the team was asking me because both the website uh, serves the same purpose so probably we can uh, like they can also question i question you ki what is the difference between both of them and which one is better than uh, other one so uh, probably i answer that the user experience and the ui part of this website is better than that probably they have lots and lots of color on their home page or even that picture realization is also like probably um, like to god it to my eyes but on the other hand 99 acres is like very pleasant and they have chosen blue color to state trust factor to their uh, audience or probably the users so this is the reason why they have chosen this but they have used colors like orange sorry yellow purple pink blue so they are a mix of colors but in the 99 acres they have used subtle colors like blue and white so probably that is also a option i have chosen this one and the whole uh, website i kind of like that that uh, that brings a uh, more subtle to my eyes and say let's search here uh, and also i have uh, mentioned this thing like instead of um, searching the locality and location and uh, then reaching out to that filter page they have actually mentioned the filters here only like what are the filters you want like property type budget bedroom construction or or post buy so they have actually mentioned the filters in uh, like the search bar when i click on this locality they have mentioned the search bar uh, they have mentioned the filters in the search bar that is a plus point because people get confused like where is the search bar if i want to um, buy one bhk home so here a person can actually easily uh, filter out this thing and even like for the budget my budget is say uh, 2.5 crores so i can easily search but i have one choose the location okay so now if i search that so you can see they have gave me so and so um, options under my budget so probably i that's why i like this website these were some of the questions which were asked in that company apart from that they have um, ask me um, a question related to wikipedia like wikipedia is a website which is content based website and probably how i can improve the ui and the ux part so my answer was that though it's a uh, content based but probably if i give a chance to improve that i probably add or highlight the cts that are very important for a user so i can i can actually mention the cta and highlight it because it gives user a better perspective for a website instead of a content heavy so i also mentioned that uh, being a content heavy website a user may or may not read everything so that should need to be also solved so these were the questions that are asked in my second round and probably i cleared that second round as well so these were the two rounds which i uh, went through in this hcl company and probably i guess my questions uh, 
will help you to get a clear idea whenever you are going for an interview in hcl so that's all for this video and uh, before that don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and do share this video with other design buddies so till then take care everyone bye